Good morning. This is Haruka from Planet Education. I'm also the host of College Knowledge with Haruka. And today I wanted to talk about college campus virtual visits because I know everybody is frustrated um, if you're a high school student or parents and this is the, you know, coronavirus and we're not able to visit college campuses as we did in the past. So what can you do today? I want to talk about three things. Uh, first, uh, college campus websites and what you can get out of them. Second, uh, talk about StriveScan, which is a great website, and right now they're featuring uh, information about colleges that change lives. And then thirdly, about YouTube. All right, so let's get started. First thing, I uh, last week there was uh, the annual UC College Counselor Conference. I know that's a mouthful, but in, um, and this year was all virtual, literally thousands of counselors all over the state of California and beyond attending to get updates on the latest and greatest on the campuses. And one of the things uh, students need to know is that fall is the season when college reps, uh, admissions reps travel all around the world. And that's when we have, that's when the schools have um, open houses and information sessions. It's like a big information blast that they have. And this year is no different, except that it is during, it is, uh, everything is virtual. So um, there are virtual open houses, virtual information sessions. So that's like, you know, kind of like Zoom, but and there'll be an admissions uh, officer. Sometimes there are student panels and they'll share information about their, uh, their academic programs, uh, student life, admissions process, financial aid, all of the things that you would typically have in a live session. You can also sign up for a virtual tour, not, um, and schools are just beginning to do this, UC campuses included, where, you know, you may have seen before, if you go into the UC or any campus admissions website, there's like a calendar and you can sign up for tours. Now you can still continue to do that. Uh, and they have pre-recorded tours as well as um, live tours. So you would be able to sign up and there would be an, uh, there would be a ambassador on campus and they would walk you through the campus. So I know it's not the real deal, but it's getting there. They're trying hard. And so I encourage you to do that. You can register. There is a capacity issue. Uh, there are also virtual, uh, fall open houses. So for example, UCLA has an open house coming up October 5th through 10th. Uh, UC Irvine, October 19th through the 23rd. Um, all the UC campuses is pretty much in this fall window, October. Uh, so check that out. I will have more links right after I speak. Second, I want to tell you about StriveScan. StriveScan is a company, it's an independent company that has partnered with the big uh, organizations like NACAC and WACAC. These are uh, college counseling organizations and they have, they have a great platform for, um, for video recordings of students. So right now this week they have they're featuring uh, their partnership with colleges that change lives. If you are not familiar, like let's say you, you, you are a student or you have a student who's not a straight A student or is somebody who needs, frankly, a little bit more support. And I think that's really an important factor to consider during coronavirus. Um, but here, like, this is a book called Colleges That Say Change Lives written by uh, Lauren Pope, and it's about 40 schools that you've never heard of before. That might be helpful if you have a student that needs a little bit more support. Uh, they are all liberal arts colleges, and not super selective for the most part. Um, most of them are test optional. And you can, by watching some of these videos, you can understand uh, the value and how a student might, might benefit from it, right? Because every student, every school has some pros and cons and there's not one size fits all. 
So some of the featured presentations this week for the Colleges That Change Lives uh, series include CTCL and liberal arts schools, um, how to do a college search in the virtual world, liberal arts education, entrepreneurship, acing interviews, CTCL for international students, and so on. And I'll have that link on the bottom too. Thirdly, I want to tell you about YouTube. I know YouTube is everywhere and it is also a social media um, that is used by college admissions. So basically, every college has a YouTube channel and there's a benefit to checking out the college channel to get their official information, whether it is about their specific colleges, um, their departments, their majors, the research that's going on, the look and feel of the campus, their buildings, uh, and what they're doing in the midst of coronavirus. Do they have a coronavirus dashboard? Uh, do you have an idea of uh, the numbers of testing that is going on? Uh, do you know whether they are transparent or whether they are hiding all of their coronavirus uh, information. Because there's a huge difference as well. Some, some campuses are transparent and some are not. Um, what's going on with athletics? So uh, if you check on things like um, YouTube, you will find that. And even more so, for the latest information, follow them on Twitter. Now, I don't recommend you follow every single school on Twitter, but if you are uh, narrowing down your schools to a handful, or if you have a student at a certain college, let's say University of Washington, or one of the UCs, or if you're thinking of early action or anything like that, then maybe follow a couple of these schools so you can get the most current information because sometimes admissions officers will publicize uh, information kind of uh, earlier than on the website via Twitter. Uh, so, so, you know, look, look for those hashtags. Mm, there, in addition to the YouTube channels, the official channels, you can also look on YouTube, uh, do a search and get students homegrown candid um, video updates as well and there's a beauty to that they they tell it like it is it's no there's no marketing spin on it it's not it may not be as slick but you will get the real deal from you know um, individual students so whether it's a dorm tour campus tours dining or moving in right now a lot of kids uh, they are loading videos on YouTube about what it's like to start or move into a college campus in the middle of coronavirus. Yeah, so everybody's wearing masks. This is what social distancing is like. I had to say goodbye to my parents. They couldn't come inside my dorm um, or like they had to have staggered, um, you know, move-in dates. Um, in the case of some East Coast schools, they had quarantine, right? So I know that in the case of Cornell, you had to stay in New York State for two weeks if you were from one of the schools on the, um, you know, the, the, the quarantine list. There were 36 schools at one point, 36 states. Uh, so everybody from California had to find a place to stay for two weeks in a hotel, like a Motel 6, etc. Anyway, so these, this is, these are real stories that I think if you are a high school student or a parent, you want to know about. And the show must go on, right? Even though it is, uh, we're still in the middle of a pandemic, we all need to continue to be diligent and do our research, uh, gain, get that, get smart with college knowledge. So again, uh, just recapping, the UCs have all this information online about, uh, you know, college admissions. So dig, dig deep there. And then second was the Colleges That Change Lives 
um, information on strivescan.com. And then thirdly, checking out YouTube for uh, more college research. If this is helpful, uh, I hope you will uh, like this page. Uh, if you have questions, um, go ahead and put some questions down. I'll be happy to answer them. And check out my College Knowledge webinars. I will be, you know, those are available as well. All right, so I hope that helps. And I will uh, see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.